So, this is your piston, what, what I call the piston. It's the part that moves. This is your reservoir right here. Any of you that are familiar with the bolt, that's going to sound familiar. Um, so that's what gets charged up when you and then released to fire the BB. So, uh, but what happens is at, at rest, this is just sitting forward, something like that. When you rack the bolt, this gets pulled back. There's no resistance on there. I mean, there's you know there's a little bit of friction from O-rings and stuff like that, just, you know, normal stuff, but no no resistance from a spring or air pressure or anything like that until you get all the way to the back position. Once you get to the back position, then you uh, you open up an, an air pathway to charge your reservoir. Uh, however, the charging of that reservoir also produces a forward force on the, the piston here. And that then, when the sear, when you when you release the sear, the sear grabs onto this uh, this sort of tapered section here, and we release the sear, the whole thing pushes forward, and then once it gets to the forward position, you have an O-ring that's sliding along here. It comes off the end of the shaft, releases airflow out the front to fire the BB. So, very simple mechanism. It's an air-driven piston, basically. But it's the air. The using the air pressure is sort of what gives you that uh, weird action where you don't have resistance going back, but then when you pull the trigger, it shoots forward.